Banks were cruising around with me and Mrs. D in the little Volkswagen. Hello. Really fun to drive around. If you've never owned one of these, they are <laughs> they are just a kick in the pants. I can't even believe I said that. Sound like my <laughs> grandpa. <laughs> but I'm getting older. I'm getting older. But anyways, it runs and drives nice and um, you can hear a little bit of wind noise in here. Uh, not bad, but you'll hear a couple little rattles and different things. You can see the speedometer is working there. You can see the odometer's turning. When I was showing the video, she's in fourth gear now. When I did the video of the walk around and stuff like that, I talked about the horn not working and stuff like that, but blinkers and stuff are working. And I was talking about, this is going to annoy you, but um, the wipers work. But when you park it, that one stops right there. So now in this whole video, I gotta have it right there. But um, anyways, it just, if you just pull it down, it pulls down. But obviously you're not gonna have those going on in full sunlight. Yes. But anyways, there's your lights, wipers, radio, turn knobs for heater control and stuff. If you've ever owned a Bug 2, you know the heaters aren't too hot. And it's all controlled right down there and then the emergency brake works on it. Why don't you go ahead and just stop okay. and we'll just show it stopping. Stops nice and straight. Not a lot of wheel shake or anything like that besides that bump. And uh, But overall, not too shabby. So anyways, we'll uh, cruise around and I'm gonna show you some more stuff. Those gears are close Started together. first gear, not yeah. third. We wanted to show you that it, it, it would <laughs> maybe want to go on third gear, right. but anyway, so. Uh, we'll just cruise around. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something really cool today. I think this is our, I don't know, around 403 auctions on Bring a Trailer. It's been a really, really fun time. And uh, thank you for checking out our rigs. We tried to do the best we can. And we just we just have a lot of fun, me and Mrs. D. So... Anyways, this is a 1968 Volkswagen Beetle. Really cool little guy. He's not perfect, but it does run and drive, and you can enjoy it. You can take it to a little car meets and stuff and just have the time of your life and, you know, just make upgrades to it as, as you go. But overall, it's a nice little bug. Super cute. I've always had a soft spot for these, and they're just a good time for sure. So... It's going to be on bring a trailer auctions. You can see there, bring a trailer. Doesn't mean it needs a trailer. That's just what the auction site's called. And it's a, it's a great site. We've been involved with it since 2008, if you're seeing this on YouTube. So check it out. Our name is Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. And you can check our website out. It's denworks.com. Uh, helping a friend sell this. He's had it for a few years and it's time to get something different and move on just like you know it's part of his his family too at the same time so it's it's hard we've had to do that before as well for just different reasons and um but it's a nice little rig uh you're gonna watch the video you're gonna check all the photos check out the comments in the auction you scroll down if you've never been on the site when you're when you see this um and then also read the bat right up and ask us questions. If you got a question, just give me a jingle. We're easy to look up on the internet. If you want to come and look at it before you bid, we would love to show it to you. And it is no reserve. So the top bid is going to get it. So there's no games or anything like that. So top bid, if you're, if you're winning, you're going to own it. So it does have a Oregon title, free and clear title. So nothing no issues with that. It's not reconstructed or anything like that. And because we are dealers here in Oregon, it is sold as is. No warranties expressed or implied. And also, if you need help with shipping, we can help you with that. We have a shipper that ships all of our stuff. And then also, if you need to store it a little bit, you can do that too. We have indoor storage. So anyways, enough of all that. We'll walk around it. It's really cool. It's a 1968 Beetle again. And it's painted red with a black interior. 1500 engine the engine is a h code h5 which i believe is 68 and 69 i think it is the original engine um, but in, unless you had a birth certificate you wouldn't know this originally was an auto stick 
So it was an automatic, um, kind of an automatic manual, but it's con been converted. IRS actually started in 68 only with the auto stick. So all the other 68s had swing axle. So this has been converted over to a four speed manual with IRS. So it's originally an IRS rig. IRS technically didn't come out until 69 for a manual. So uh, kind of a nice upgrade for this because you get four speed and you get IRS. So um, just really cool. So I'm gonna walk around it, show you different things and I'll try not to talk very much, but it's hard for me to do as you guys probably already know. But I'll just show you some of the paint condition. Use all this stuff as tools. Um, you'll see a little chip. I forgot to actually, I'll touch up a couple of these that I'm pointing out, but you'll see the paint isn't perfect. A little bit of fish eye. Uh, you can see on top of the fender. They're not bad, but it is there. And you'll see a little bit of orange peel, uh, a little ding on top of the headlight ring, a little crazing. These are easy to get if you want to get a new one. And little lenses. That's the nice thing about uh, a bug. You can get anything for it. You can see a little bit more of those fish eyes right there. Bumper looks nice. Hood looks nice. Windshield is in good shape. One thing I'll mention just because I'm here and I remember. The wipers work. But that wiper right here. It will, when you shut it off, it gets stuck about in that position. So if you're not using it, you just gotta push it down. It's just not parking like it should. There's no resistance against it. If you look down the side, fairly straight. Looks good. Take a look at this side, going down the side. Again, not bad. Take a look at this fender. Little chip here. I'll touch up that little dude. Again, you can see just some of the imperfections in the paint. This is just some dust from driving it around. There's the tires, 165, 80, 15. They look in nice shape. I'll get you a date. Actually, right there. 2022 is the date code, if you can see that. Factory wheels, hubcaps. Running boards look good. Not perfect, but they look nice. No bubbles underneath them. You can see the quarter panel looks in good condition. There is some floor that where the battery box is and then where the, um, on the other side of the pan, both pans in the back have some rust and they need to be replaced. You can keep it like it. You'll see pictures of it up on my lift, so you'll see that. It is the original uh, chassis underneath and the original pan. The VIN matches underneath the back seat and matches under the hood and matches the title as well. You can see that tire. You'll see some kind of paint imperfection or maybe just a little waviness in the bottom of that door roof looks really good one little spot right there you can see the gutters again it's not a show car it's just a, a nice little driver if you look down the side Back here, rear fenders look really nice actually. Lights. Lights are working, but we don't have backup lights. And I think it's because of the way the, the different trans transmission uh, configuration with the four speed in it now. Which, again, I'm not complaining. I like four speed way, way better than the auto stick. Well, the sun's out a little bit. Take a look around here, just so you can kind of see it with a little bit of sun on it. Kind of nice to see it in both ways. I'll take a look at this other side for you real fast. Take a look at this fender. Tires match all the way around. 
You can see right here, see that in the door? It's probably a little bit of a, I'm trying to get focus on that. It's a little tiny crack, a little scratch here. That's a little tiny crack there and it's a little wavy right there. The rest of the door looks good. Quarter looks good. Yeah, just a handful, you know, just imperfections and stuff like that. I'm trying to show you. Rear bumper looks really good. I'll uh, take a peek underneath the bonnet here. You can see the H5 right there on the engine, serial number. You know, not nothing fancy in here. Uh, you can see underneath the deck lid. Actually, you probably can't see real good. The sun's coming in there, I'll take pictures. And then, let's take a look at the interior real fast. Interior is actually fairly clean. Looks nice. See the dash. And sometimes I left the key on there. I'm going to start it up for you though. Horn doesn't work. Wipers, like I mentioned. Radio turns on, but it's not playing. Headlights all work. But that instrument cluster there, it fogs up a little bit. And you can see that shifter has been modified. Um, it's not a correct shifter for a four speed, but it is working just like a four speed. Because I think that they, uh, when they did the conversion, they uh, made that stick work. You can see the jams all look good. Door panels are in good shape, but you're probably going to want to replace them. These screws around the edges aren't supposed to be there. It doesn't hurt anything. There's extra holes in the door behind, but what happened probably is the, um, you know, there's a cardboard and they probably just went bad and the little clips didn't work anymore. So you'll see that. Let's go ahead and uh, let me make sure I'm in neutral. I am, and I'll just turn the key. Well, it made a liar out of me. I'll hit the gas once. Oh, you dirty dog. There you go. It usually just starts starts right up. Well, probably because I left the key on it. See, it runs pretty smooth. It's got that typical speed up sound. started it the alternator light came on and stuff so uh, which is good you can hear the blinker but there's nothing in the dash that's showing and then also uh, when I turn the headlights on you'll see the bright lights are working there Take a look at the other side horns not working windows does roll up and down Sorry for the funny startup, it's just, that's what happens. I don't like to cut my videos, so I'm just trying to show it what it is. You see the seat, it's pretty decent. Dash pad looks good. Again, you're gonna see a bunch of photos too. Same thing with the door panel on this side. You can see around the edges, the door jams. The nice thing is, I haven't seen any accident damage on it. Um, everything's fairly straight. I haven't seen anything like inside the, the inner tubs here or up here. Like the fenders are off inside the tubs here. Look good. We'll take a peek underneath the hood. I don't have a spare tire for it, but you can take a peek here. No damage 
up here in the front end that's the first thing you always check when you're looking at bugs and making sure the pan is original see here the vin tag is original as well this is just a piece of carpet not correct but it's there to protect some not perfect underneath here they made some homemade duct work there but Overall, looks good. You can see the aprons aren't all hit or anything like that. So those look look good. So hopefully that gives you kind of a good look exactly what it is. Um, again, if you want to come and look at it in person, we'd love to show it to you. Love to take you on a little spin. It's just a cute little thing. So anyways, no reserve on Bring a Trailer. We'll see you there. Thanks for taking a peek.